Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you once again for joining us on this special coverage of the very cheerful festive day here in the state of Kuwait. The nation is celebrating today its 62nd National Day, marking the efforts of its leadership and people to develop all sectors and preserve the country's peace and stability under the guidance and leadership of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect and bless him and His Highness the Crown Prince, Sheikh Michel Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect him. During the independence celebrations, Kuwaitis will also mark the 32nd anniversary of its liberation from the brutal Iraqi invasion, with many hoisting flags of the state of Kuwait, as well as portraits of the Kuwaiti leadership in their homes and throughout the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll get back to you right after this short report. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أتقدم في هذه الأيام السعيدة بالتهنئة إلى مقام صاحب السمو الشيخ نواف الأحمد الجابر الصباح أمير دولة الكويت الشقيقة وإلى سمو ولي العهد الشيخ مشعل الأحمد الجابر الصباح وإلى الشعب الكويت الشقيق وإلى حكومة دولة الكويت الشقيقة في مناسبة العيادة الوطنية وعيد يوم التحرير المجيد من من محاسن الصدف و ترابط العلاقة التاريخية بين المملكة العربية السعودية ودولة الكويت الشقيقة أن الكويت تحتفل في يوم 25 و 26 من فبراير بالعيادة الوطنية المجيدة ونحن في المملكة العربية السعودية الآن بدأنا نحتفل بعيد التأسيس المصادف يوم 22 فبراير فهذا يغني يغني عن كل أي عبارة تتحدث عن العلاقات التاريخية بين المملكة العربية السعودية والكويت أرجع أقول كذلك أن التهنئة موصولة للجميع لكل محبي دولة الكويت. With this special occasion of National Day of the State of Kuwait and the Liberation Day, I would like to send my my graduate my congratulation to His Highness the Emir and to His Highness the Crown Prince and to the state and the government of Kuwait and the Kuwaiti people. Uh, and I wish for uh, Kuwait all the success and prosperity in the year to come. Uh, I am very proud about the level of relationship between United Arab Emirates and the state of Kuwait. Uh, a lot of uh, coordination, cooperation has been achieved on the different level and, prom and there is a lot of area of promising to, to, for further co collaboration that we are looking forward uh, to achieve uh, in the year to come. On the occasion of the National Day and the Liberation Day of the State of Kuwait, I have the honor to extend my best congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Subah, the Amir, His Highness Sheikh Mashal Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Subah, the Crown Prince, the government, and the people of Kuwait. I wish the country and the brotherly people of Kuwait more progressive and development under the wise leadership of His Highness the Amir. مع حلول ذكرى الثانية والستين لاحتفال دولة الكويت بعيدها الوطني والثانية والثلاثين لعيد التحرير وفي هذه اللحظة المليئة باللبهجة يتيب لي أن أتقدم بأحر تحاني للأستقاء الوطين وأتمنى لدولة الكويت الصداقة ورخاء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم On behalf of the government of the Republic of Indonesia It is my distinct pleasure to extend to His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmad Al Jaber Al Sabah, Amir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Meshal Al Ahmad Al Jaber Al Sabah, the Crown Prince, the government, and the friendly people of Kuwait. Congratulations on the occasion of National and Liberation Day. This year is the 55th anniversary of Indonesia. Kuwait diplomatic relations. For more than five decades, our countries have established good bilateral cooperation between the government and also the people. I wish the state of Kuwait, its leaders, and the friendly people of Kuwait best wishes and prosperity in the coming years. Kullu am wal Kuwait hukumatan وشعباً بألف خير
Ladies and gentlemen, Kuwait today is jubilant, joyous, and glowing with happiness. Happiness which happens to come in the colors of red, green, black, and white as we celebrate the 62nd independence anniversary as well as the 32nd liberation anniversary on an occasion that goes beyond remembering the trials, challenges, and triumphs of our home and into expressing pride and a deep sense of loyalty to an almost familial community here in the homeland. And folks, to shed light on the activities of these celebrations, we have a pair of our correspondents from around the country joining us, starting off in the Green Islands with our correspondent, Mohamed al -Nezi. Hello, Mohamed. Good evening, Mohamed. Now, Mohamed, uh, we'd like to start off with you. Could you yes, just briefly hello. describe the atmosphere around you? Of course, and I've been here since the early morning, and the atmosphere has been amazing. There were so many activities throughout the day for, ev for all ages to enjoy. And I wish you had joined me just a few minutes back where there was an amazing drone show which made everyone stand still and take their phones out to, to record the special uh, occasion. And uh, now I'm joined by uh, Dr. Najwa al Kandiri, who has a special message on this special occasion. Dr. Najwa, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, what would you like to say on these uh, special occasions for the state of Kuwait? Well, it's uh, our pleasure to participate in uh, such uh, festival uh, celebrations. Uh, thank you to uh, the Touristic Enterprises Company for arranging uh, such a magical environment to celebrate the Kuwait National Day. And it's just uh, we want everyone to have fun and uh, to be safe in our country. And congratulations to Kuwait in National Kuwait Day. And also tomorrow will be the Independence Kuwait Day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Folks, uh, it's been a very, very festive atmosphere here. And I don't know if you can hear the mu national music has been playing all day long. Everyone enjoying their time here. And, and we wish everyone a, uh, a big congratulations on these special occasions of the National Day and the Liberation Day. Well, thank you for that coverage, our correspondent Mohamed al over at the Green Islands. And ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to remind you all that there is a calendar of celebrations with the slogan of Glory and Pride spread all over social media so that you can learn about all the different places and times of these celebrations that are being held here in the state of Kuwait. And folks, we will take a short break and we'll be back right after that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now, as we continue with our correspondence around Kuwait, we move to Kuwait Towers. Well, across the Kuwait Towers, our correspondent, Talal Hindi, will give us the latest over there. Hello, Talal. 
Hello, Mohammed. First of all, I would love to extend my greetings to you and my co-correspondent Mohammed Lanezi and uh, and whoever in and whoever is behind the scenes. We are having a fabulous atmosphere here, filled with joy, happiness, and large smiles. Just beside this iconic and prominent structure of Kuwait Towers. I'm going to have a special guest in a bit uh, that uh, he would love to enlighten us about this whole event and uh, many more information about the celebrations from the National Day and the Liberation Day that's going to be tomorrow. So we're having on board with us uh, Colonel Mnauer. Um, good afternoon. I would like to thank everybody that took part in um, this. I would call it an expo, but basically it's a celebration for the whole country and me being the uh, EOD commander unit for the army part we have our own booth celebrating also taking part and for this celebration as well as spreading awareness of the unexploded ordinance throughout the country technically we've been working since 1991 up until today dealing with remnants of war dealing with unexploded ordinance hopefully our main goal as an EOD unit is to spread the awareness to avoid having any other civilian casualties and basically showing that we are on call, we have an on-call team 24-7 dealing with that kind of stuff and hopefully whoever finds any weird object in the desert, especially during camping season, they can call us, we'll be there within the shortest period of time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, we really appreciate the rich information provided by Colonel uh, Nauer from the Minister of Defense. Uh, just to be uh, and just to mention some uh, other uh, necessary points that we have, we have tomorrow an Air Force uh, show that's going to be tomorrow as well. We had one earlier, uh, 4 p.m. earlier today, and there would there would be a fireworks that is going to be held on the 20, 28th of this month. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our correspondent, Talal Hindi. And we would like to renew the invitation to our viewers to attend the celebrations tomorrow next to Quaid Towers, where we here at KTV will broadcast all these events to you tomorrow. So once again, we'd like to thank our correspondents for their participation. Now, folks, we are going to take another short break, but we'll be back after that. The state of Kuwait marks the 62nd anniversary of independence, which transformed the Sheikhdom of Kuwait into the thriving modern country. On June 19, 1961, Kuwait gained independence, putting an end to the Anglo-Kuwaiti Agreement of 1899. This was followed by a decree on May 18, 1961, to conjoin the National Day and the Ascension of the Emir celebration into one event commemorated every year on February 25th. Historically, 
the late Amir Sheikh Abdullah Salem Sabah, may Allah rest his soul, so that the Anglo Kuwaiti Agreement signed by late Amir Sheikh Mubarak Sabah, may Allah rest his soul, and the British, and ran its course in terms of protecting Kuwait from external threats, considering recent international development at the time. Sheikh Abdullah Salim, since ascending to power in 1950, had made calculated steps to ensure the independence of the country and usher a new era of constitutional state leading to vast development in various domains. The very first celebration of independence was on June 19, 1961, a joyous event attended by all. Sheikh Abdullah Salim delivered a speech in commemoration of the event, calling on the people of Kuwait to venture forward into future, governed by justice, social equity, and welfare for all. As Kuwait continued on the road to further develop as well as regional and international valuable contributions, Kuwaiti foreign policy marched on focusing on a balanced and just interaction with the global community to ensure the overall development of mankind. In the present day, His Highness the Amir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, may Allah protect and bless him, and His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, may Allah protect him, both took the tremendous task set by their predecessors to make sure that Kuwait and the world would continue to prosper to future generations to come. During the independence celebrations, Kuwaitis will also mark the 32nd liberation anniversary of the country from the Iraqi invasion with many hoisting flags and the Kuwaiti leadership portraits on the homes and dwindlings. Welcome back, folks, as we continue our coverage on the beautiful, festive atmosphere of celebrations. The Ministry of Interior affirmed that its full readiness to deal firmly with any lawlessness or misconduct during the national celebrations and to deal with traffic jams, obstruction of traffic, and any reckless or irresponsible behavior. Celebrating joyous occasions may become a little loud and enthusiastic at times. However, that does not extend into disrupting the public peace. Acts such as throwing water balloons at cars are frowned upon as it is a waste of water and can risk car accidents. But now we are joined by the First Lieutenant Mohammed Asarraf from the General Department of Public Relations and Security Media within the Ministry of Interior via phone call to tell us more about the instructions of the Ministry of Interior during the national holidays. Good evening, First Lieutenant Mohammed. Good evening, hi. Could you tell us about the general atmosphere here in the streets of Kuwait? Uh, first of all, on behalf of the Ministry of Interior, I want to extend most cordial congratulations to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and His Highness the Crown Prince, uh, Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and to all citizens and residents on the occasion of National and Liberation Days. May Allah continue to prosper our country and bless it. Uh, the Ministry of Interior prepared a security plan aims to ensure joyful celebrations with the greatest possible level of safety. The Ministry also raises the level of security performance during the national and liberation ceremonies, and there will be a full coordination between the ministries related field sectors. Policemen and uh, women will be stationed on foot and patrol uh, and through security checkpoints to assist the public and give them uh, security or humanitarian assistance if needed, ensuring their safety. Nevertheless, uh, traffic police will also ensure that cars are directed away from uh, more packed routes. And uh, First Lieutenant Asarraf, many are wondering today uh, if there will be any road closures and if you have perhaps any guidelines or instructions that citizens and residents can follow. Yes, uh, the Arabian Gulf Street uh, won't be closed off on the 25th and the 26th and the 27th of February. Everyone will be able to visit it, except uh, on February the 28th, there will be uh, one partial road closure for the fireworks event, and it will only take place on the Arabian Gulf Street uh, from the second ring road intersection to the Jasim Mohammed Al-Bahar Street intersection near the British Embassy. 
beginning at uh, 5.30 p.m. and lasting until the end of the event. Uh, the Ministry also, of the Ministry of Interior, along with the, the relevant authorities, will offer special buses in, the, in some areas to transport uh, members of the public who wish to join the celebration at uh, Kuwait Towers. And they are uh, Souk Sharg parking and the parking spot next to Sharg Police Station and the Ministry's complex uh, parking and the parking spot in front of the Awqaf complex, uh, Hawali Park parking the Yacht Club parking, and finally the restaurant's parking next to the Yacht Club parking on the Arabian Gulf Street. And for our final question, are there any instructions or guidelines from the Ministry of Interior regarding these national holiday celebrations? The General Department of uh, Public Relations and Security Media released an awareness campaign via media channels and social media platforms advising people with a positive celebration attitude to prevent accidents and uh, traffic uh, con congestions. And that includes uh, paying complete attention to the road while driving, not to exceed the speed limit, parking at designated areas and avoid blocking the roads, avoid uh, covering the entire car, windows or plate uh, with the flag or other pictures, uh, not starting any fireworks, not to spray water on cars or passers-by. Also, I would like to mention vehicles with unofficial writings, stickers, or uh, other appendages on the outside of the vehicle's body, including flags or other uh, uh, flags of other nations, tribal flags, religions, uh, or badges uh, designating a class or group will be impounded, and the driver will be given a violation according to Article 207 and the Article 52 of the Traffic Laws Executive Rules. Our team at the Central Operation Room is highly alerted to receive calls and reports at the emergency hotline 112. Finally, show and express your love and respect to our beloved country, Kuwait, by following the security instructions. Well, thank you so much for your time and your effort, First Lieutenant Mohammed Asarraf from the General Department of the Public Relations and Security Media within the Ministry of Interior. Thank you. Happy National Day. You too. And now, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be back right after this break. خطوات زيارة صفحة رزنامة الاحتفالات بالأعياد والمناسبات الوطنية 2023 تكون البداية بالدخول إلى موقع وزارة الإعلام ومن الصفحة يتم اختيار رزنامة الاحتفالات الوطنية 2023 لتظهر بعدها الصفحة الرئيسية التي تبين الفعاليات بأكملها وبالنقر على قائمة الخيارات على الصفحة يتمكن الزائر من التجول بين فعاليات اليوم وفعاليات الغد وفعاليات الأسبوع ليتعرف على الأنشطة التي من المقرر إقامتها حسب التصنيف الذي يتم اختياره وعند اختيار فعالية معينة تظهر صفحة بتفاصيل إضافية مثل التاريخ والوقت ومكان الإقامة وغيرها من المعلومات وفي نهاية قائمة الخيارات تجد تحميل الشعار وهي الصفحة التي تمكن المستخدمين من الاستفادة من الشعار الخاص بالاحتفالات الوطنية وتحميله لمختلف الأغراض المخصصة له مع العلم بأنه في حالة تحميل الشعار يفضل استخدام أجهزة الكمبيوتر عوضا عن الهاتف نظرا لحجم الملف والمرفقات Welcome back dear viewers today a festive atmosphere is pervading all throughout the state of Kuwait celebrating the 62nd national day as well as the 32nd liberation day the month of February has never been an ordinary month in the history of Kuwait due to the national occasions that are held in it, but this special month represents a milestone and an unforgettable date within the hearts of the Kuwaiti people. The yearly celebration of our national and liberation holidays each come with their own unique character and beauty, embodying the sentimental memories engraved in the consciousness of the citizenry. Kuwaitis confirm their love and loyalty to their homeland, expressing solidarity and unity with the Kuwaiti leadership in elevating the country and ensuring its stability. More on that in the following report.
month of February has a special place in the heart of Kuwaitis, as it is the most distinguished month due to the memories and national events it carries that marked milestones in the history of the homeland. During this month, Kuwait celebrates annual national celebrations that receive welcome, turnout and collective participation from the people of Kuwait, residents and even guests to attend the artistic and entertainment celebrations and various celebrations, as well as to visit Kuwait's tourist facilities and museums that are preparing to receive visitors, in addition to the seminars that are held on the sidelines of these celebrations. The participation of the various state institution and private sector in the national celebrations also take place in a beautiful style and renewed innovation, where the Ministry of Education has a major role in supporting the bonds of national unity and cohesion and enhancing the spirit of belonging and loyalty as it presents operas that are presented by male and female students of different educational stages and schools in which they embody the highest meanings of patriotism through wonderful performance and broadcasting of songs that have a different and beautiful meaning in the hearts of the citizens. The Ministry of Social Affairs held a flag-raising ceremony to mark the launch of the Ministry's celebrations of the 62nd National Day and 32nd Liberation Day under the slogan Glory and Pride in the presence and sponsorship of Minister of Social Affairs and Minister of State for Women and Childhood Affairs, May El Bagli. Touristic Enterprises Company and Zane collaborated to organize a spectacular aerial drone show in celebration of Kuwait's National and Liberation Day. The show featured 2,000 drones that took to the skies of Kuwait City, creating inspiring animating displays that left spectators spellbound. The show commenced with a breathtaking deception of a massive Kuwaiti flag followed by the slogan Glory and Pride as the drones showcased glimpses into the history of Kuwait, including the traditional practice of pearl diving, aspects of Bedouin life, and key events that mark Kuwait's journey into a modern nation. Such celebrations bring joy and pleasure to all Kuwaitis who await for them annually to renew the pledge of loyalty to the dear homeland and to the wise leadership, the honorable as sabah family, as well as the love for the land. Kuwaiti citizen celebrations of the National Day and Liberation Anniversary are characterized by the wide participation of all sectors and citizens and residents, as well as streets filled to capacity amidst a festive and carnival atmosphere throughout the country in an intensive security preparations from the Interior Ministry. In conjunction with these celebrations, the Kuwaiti authorities decorated the main streets, access and government buildings and hospitals with national flags and decorative lights, in addition to the Kuwaiti Towers, which are the most prominent historical and touristic attraction in the country, with the launch of many various artistic and cultural festivals throughout the month of February in the five governance of Kuwait. عز وفخر نرفع علم إذا أردنا رفع العلم لابد أن نراعي أمورا كثيرة احتراما لهذا الرمز إذا كان العلم بشكل أفقي فاللون الأخضر يكون بالأعلى واللون الأسود جهة اليسار أما إذا كان بشكل رأسي فاللون الأخضر يكون جهة اليمين والأسود بالأعلى. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't noticed, we are celebrating the National and Liberation Days here in Kuwait. But of course, those celebrations are not limited to just Kuwait, as the world is a witness of the state of Kuwait's well-known endeavors in humanitarian and charitable work. It is a procession of pride and admiration 
that has accompanied Kuwait since its inception throughout the six decades of its modern history. As a result of which, Kuwait is currently witnessing prosperity and distinguished achievements at all levels, according to the forward-thinking plans of its wise leadership and rational governments that have realized the needs of the country and its people in terms of development and contributed to playing a pivotal role in regional and international cases as it became the focus of the world's efforts in humanitarian aid. And in celebration of a day full of joy and patriotism, Kuwait Television covered the participation of a number of ambassadors of brotherly and friendly countries joining the state of Kuwait in the joy of the 62nd National Day given the warm reception they felt from the Kuwaiti people and the depths of the close political, economic, and cultural relations between their countries and the state of Kuwait. Here's more on that in the following report. In 2021, we celebrated the 60 years of relationship between our two countries. You know that on August 1961, France was one of the first countries to recognize the independent state of Kuwait. As such, the National Day of Kuwait is also a symbolic moment for us in the realm of the friendship between France and Kuwait. It is historical, but also very concrete, as at the diplomatic level, France and Kuwait enjoy a strategic dialogue. This cooperation covers all layers, cultural, economic, security, and education. I want to express uh, my congratulations to the Kuwait authorities, the Kuwaiti uh, people, our Kuwaiti friends, uh, for the National Indonesian Day. I want to express my special uh, congratulations uh, towards His Highness uh, Sheikh Nawaf uh, Al-Ahmed and Sheikh Sabah and uh, His Highness the Crown Prince, uh, Sheikh Michal, the Prime Minister and all members uh, of the uh, Kuwaiti uh, government and uh, National Assembly. I want to congratulate His Highness the Emir and His Highness the Crown Prince for two very important events, which are the Liberation Day and the Independence Day of Kuwait. Uh, my congratulation goes also to the people of Kuwait. It's a very important moment in which we celebrate our friendship and uh, this gives also the idea to strengthen our relation in the future. It is very important. Italy was present at the liberation time with the military force uh, which helped the liberation of the country. That was very, very important for us. It was a very crucial moment and a significant uh, sign of our friendship. Many, many signs of friendships came from both sides uh, during the last decades. We celebrated actually two years ago the 60th anniversary of the relations between Italy and Kuwait. We are very proud of our relation with uh, our friends in Kuwait and we still continue thinking that we will succeed in boosting our collaboration. Again, I wish you all the best for the liberation and for the Independence Day of Kuwait. On behalf of His Excellency, President Cyril Ramaphosa, the government and the people of the Republic of South Africa, as well as the staff of the South African Embassy in the state of Kuwait. I would like to take this opportunity to convey to His Highness the Amir of the state of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Ahmed al Jaba al Sabah, His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Michel al Ahmed al Jaba al Sabah, the government and the people of the state of Kuwait. Warm congratulations on the occasion of celebrating the National and Liberation Days of the state of Kuwait. Ahlan wa sahla bikum jamian. Each year in February, Kuwait is celebrating its National Day and back to back with it, uh, the Day of Liberation. Some very important twin anniversaries. Uh, on behalf of the German Embassy, uh, I am honored today to uh, congratulate the leadership of the country, His Highness the Amir, His Highness the Crown Prince and indeed all the people of Kuwait 
on the auspicious occasion of the twin anniversaries. Today, Kuwait can look back at six amazing decades of development. A wealthy, modern and prosperous state has emerged on the sandy shores of what was once a remote fishing community. A state that is providing wealth, prosperity and security not only for its own citizens, but millions of others living here. But perhaps what's more important is that Kuwait has transcended the message beyond its borders, is, has international acclaim for humanitarian efforts, for siding with the needy, for people in need, and has a fantastic reputation as a humanitarian leader. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now, I'd just like to point out that earlier in this coverage, I mentioned that the academic and journalist, Dr. Khalid Ayl al Jinfawi, would be joining us today for a special interview. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it due to the traffic jams and festivities all across the country. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of today's live coverage. But before we leave, I'd like to take the chance to convey our heartfelt congratulations to the Kuwaiti leadership, His Highness the Emir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect and bless him. And His Highness the Crown Prince, Sheikh Michel Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. May Allah protect him, along with the entirety of the Kuwaiti people over this joyous occasion. And on that note, folks, we wish everyone here and watching at home a happy national holiday and a good night. <laughs>